because I think being being a true follower of Jesus, we make people better. Um, yeah. You can't just like love them to hell, right? Yeah. I'm saying you can't love you can't love somebody to hell, but we should be able to love hell out of them. Yeah, we should be able to love That's those so things good. out of them. Yeah. That's so good. That but never. it starts it starts by putting the stones down. That's so it good. does. I mean, the Bible says that all have fallen short of the glory. Right. Well, all of us, like, we've all fallen. Yeah. You know, I mean, Billy Graham, one of the most famous mm-hmm. Christians in you know history. Mm-hmm. You know, he is. No different than, you know, the whatever, the gangbanger that just mm. got saved, you know, 15 minutes ago. Yeah. You're saved. Jesus will save you no matter he'll, no matter what you've done, who you are. Right. 100%. And, you know, where have you been? And, um, you know, that's what I think being, you know, an yeah. authentic Christian is, is, is um, you know, just meeting people where they're at and yeah. letting the Holy Spirit change them. Yeah. Cause I, or letting God change them. Because I feel like a lot of times, I feel like, well, you know, the church mm-hmm. feels like it's like our job to change them. Right, it's right. my job to change right, you, right. you know? Okay, you got saved? Well, mm-hmm. now it's my job to, ch- yeah, to save right. you. You know, don't, don't as Christians, I think we, we can't, but don't put that pressure on yourself. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, I, you know, I can't change hearts, so, you know, only right. God can change hearts. So, yeah, that's so um, good. Yeah. I think something I realize is that, uh, mm-hmm. like, God doesn't need help being holy. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, he's holy all on his own. Like, he's, the Bible says that when, when, when uh, Satan, the Bible says that, and I, I think it's Isaiah, um, that I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven, right? Like, yeah. boom, like. He tried to elevate himself and boom, shot like lightning from heaven. In other words, holiness and sin, like it shoots no. out almost yeah. like magnets that reverse, like yeah. they can't atta- uh, attract each other. Mm-hmm. In the same way, like he's holy all on his own. Like we don't have to protect him from, yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. God can't see sin. Like God can't see it. No, like don't let him see it. Like no, 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 no. Yeah. God he is knows. God. Yeah, and he's holy. And so I think our response is saying like, hey, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to live my life mm-hmm. and follow him as best as I can. And yeah. so I'm not going to fake the funk. I'm just going to be real and that's, say I'm that's, struggling. That's so Funny you say that because I've caught myself when I was a believer. Maybe I'm mean, worse. Still, are I mean, believer. I guess, still a believer. When I was a young believer, <laughs> Plot twist, I know. Yeah. Plot when, twist. I a, when I was a young believer, and I remember, you know, still listening to rap, and I remember driving past my church and be like, "Oh no, I got Lord." <laughs> you know what I mean? I got Lord. Uh, this is a, count yeah, the count yeah. yeah. past the Lord's, you know, the Lord's yeah. ways. Yeah, put on and, the fish real fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then as soon as I pass that life, bumping it back hey, up. You know what I mean? Hey. <laughs> yeah. um, and I think what you said it's like God knows yeah you know what I mean he's holding his own it's yeah. like I'm not trying to hide in this sin and I love what you I think you shared about this on Sunday um, where you said like only God can only meet I, I'm sorry if I scratch maybe you know what I'm talking about but you said like hey you only can get healed when mm. you're off, when you're authentic, right, right, right. What, what, do you remember? Like, yeah, God, 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 God can only heal who you who you really are. He can't heal who you who pretend, pretend to be. Yeah, he can't he can't he can't move in your life and who you pretend to be. Right, yeah. like he's not moving in fake things. Yeah, and I think like yeah. they even goes to me like I'm trying to act like oh you know God I'm not really listening to this, but he knows yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, he wants to meet me there still. Yeah, even in, um, among those things. And yeah. uh, going back to what you were saying, you said like you know with my issue under my you know the problem around with the hat you said it's a culture that you create mm. and you know the cool thing is that pastor at that time addressed in front of the whole church mm. you know wow. the next Sunday he said hey I just want you guys to know that my you know he was a senior pastor this church is a place whether you wear a hat mm. you wear a straw hat whether you maybe he's like maybe you're from a different religion right you're like you're welcome here 100% and so yeah. you as a senior pastor how do you build that culture yeah like, and, and what does that look like like yeah. how do you build up leaders in your church to be authentic and to meet people there because sometimes I mean I don't know if you and I but you know I've been in situations where people ask me oh what would you do, Christian man? Yeah. yeah. What's yeah. the right answer? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, Let me find it. You're so quick to say what Jesus would do. Yeah, what yeah. I would do. WWJD. Uh, or, yeah. Or, or we go you know? into this idea like, oh, I got to you know, take you on Sunday to find out the pastor, but I know that you're all about mm. empowering yeah, yeah. other believers to disciple and to mm, do yeah. that. So, like, how do you do that? Like, how do you build a culture that's authentic? How do you build up mm. leaders and yeah. disciples and in your community yeah. to be open? Open to new people, yeah, mm-hmm. and encourage your church to be open to new people and yeah. to be authentic, to be authentic Christian. What does mm-hmm. that What does that look mm-hmm. like for you and your your wife, uh, Amanda, Pastor Amanda? How does that look like? Yeah, I think uh, one thing that I've so I've been senior pastor right now for almost four years. Um, forced into it, didn't think I was qualified, didn't think I was good enough. All bunch of insecurities and all those things, and many of them, not all of them, but some of them, I'm still dealing with, mm-hmm. and wrestling it out, and then mm-hmm. at, finally at the end of it, realizing like. God, I'm not a plan B. Maybe I am a plan A. Or maybe I was a plan plan two and plan one was a phase and now plan two is me and, and this is where you had me. And uh, But one thing that I've realized in leadership is 
the, I think to me, to my own personal leadership style is this, is that I have to live it. Mm. If I don't live it, if I'm not it, then people are going to sniff it out. And I think that's just me being a, a teacher where I realize, man, kids love real people. Mm -hmm. like, they don't love, they don't follow fake. They smell it like a mile away and they will treat you and they will let you know and they'll give you the hardest time. But if you can reason with someone real, if you can treat them as a human being, man, and I, I just think for leadership um, in whatever capacity, work, um, home uh, and, and in your relationship whatever it may be if you can be um, if you can be honest about who you are mm. right? like we talked about earlier there's this mm -hmm. false sense that I have to know everything <clears throat> yeah right and I have to be perfect and I can't have bad days and I believe all of my stories they either talk about my insecurities or the other funny ones are uh, just about my wife and I you know I roast her sometimes on Sundays and I pay for it and <laughs> yeah 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 babe I love you um, <laughs> and she's an amazing sport at it uh, but I, I I just tend to share about my failures I yeah. tend to share about some of the insecurities I have mm -hmm. I tend to share about um, me not being so like hey I don't know if this is the right thing this is what I believe God's saying I'm, uh, I love this the pastor said this he said the goal the goal is to uh, sorry you should be able to know the goal you might not know the path to get there mm. and it set me free so much to realize I, 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 I as a leader I have to know where we're, where we're going I don't have to know how to get there yeah and that's yeah. what the team's for mm -hmm. and so there's this false that's sense so of that the leader has to know everything they have to know where we're going how to get there how many people and what happens is that I become the bottleneck because every question has to get answered by me yeah right like at our church, I don't care what color hangers we buy, for instance, right? Like, I don't care what color the plates are. I don't care what kind, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be in those details. But I, the details I do want to be in is like, man, we need to have people that are leading, that are real, mm, yeah. that are relatable, that are 100%. And I think when they see people who are supposed to be perfect act real, they gives them permission to also be real. Yeah. And one of the most freeing moments I've ever had, um, I was living, I moved to my parents' house for a few months. And I was having a conversation with this guy, and in my eyes, he was like a phenomenal Christian. Like he was just great. Yeah. And I had some sin. Like I was, I'll just be honest. Like I was bound looking at <clears throat> pornography, right? And I, 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 I come to him, and it was like just gripped my heart. And I feel like I just couldn't get free. And I said, Hey, let me, let me just confess this. Like I've done all the praying. I've done all the in Jesus' name. I'll stop. Yeah, all, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, eventually just praying to the Virgin Mary. No, I'm right? Like, <laughs> if anyone can help me to get free from this, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm joking about that part. But as 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 I, I'm like, you know, let me just confess. And but there's a sense of if people know me, I think they see me at this level. But if they know who I really am, they're gonna look at me at a different level. Yeah. 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 Whether it be pride, whether it be insecurity, whether it be a little bit of both, I think yeah. that we're like, I don't want people to look at me less than. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman, older than me, more experienced than me, in my eyes, was like a professional Christian. Like, yeah. man, he was it. Like that's who I wanted to emulate. And I was like, hey, like, I just want to be real with you, you know? And like, I was hoping I could measure up in his book, but I realized I'd rather be free than measure up. Yeah. And so, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'd much rather be free than have you think of me better than I actually am. And so I just confessed, like, hey, I've yeah. seen this, I watched this, you know, it's been going on for this long, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And he looks at me after all of this, right? He's this big old dude. He looks at me and he says, is that it? And I'm like, Oh, is that it? Like, yeah. that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, I didn't kill nobody, right? Like, yeah. we're to come. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, is that it? And I'm like, yeah, man, that's, that's it. And he was like, man, that's nothing. And he begins to share everything that he struggled with. And I yeah. was like, wow, like, you're like a man of God. Like, like when they say man of God, like they're thinking, they're talking about you. Yeah. And what I realized in that moment was I was just looking at the fruit and I thought, man, there was just perfection on the inside. What yeah. I realized is that the growth happened because there was insecurity. Mm -hmm. The growth happened because there was struggle, right? We only <clears throat> grow when there's conflict and struggle. Yeah. If everything's per like, listen, I will never grow muscle sitting on my couch. Mm -hmm. I could watch a million P90X videos yeah. I can quote every single exercise there is, right? But if I don't actually do it, I'm not going to grow. If yeah. I don't actually have that struggle and that pushing through, I think sometimes in Christianity, like we'll memorize all the scripture, right? Like we'll go to church every Sunday, but if we yeah. don't actually start putting it into practice, we don't actually mm -hmm. grow. And we need That's that. So we need that conflict so sometimes. And so he was just sharing, and it was the most freeing moment in my life to say, if God used you and you've done worse things than the things that I shared. Yeah. And if at the end of the you're a man of God, then there's hope for me. And I just remember that being a pivotal moment in my life yeah. where his authenticity 
was able to set me free and I, it was I, I didn't make a vow but I think it just kind of shaped my life where it's like I will always mm-hmm. default to being real yeah. you want to know the, the Sean you see on stage he's a little bit more animated than the regular Sean but that's just like speaking style and preference yeah. but my heart is exactly the same yeah. but you, you ask my girls like I'm not nicer to the people at church than I am to them. Yeah. Right? And I've heard that from pastor's kids. They would say things like, my dad is nicer on Sundays than he is on Mondays. Wow. My dad is my dad is more loving to the people at my church, that at his church that tithe mm-hmm. than he is to me. Yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Far be, I wanted to relaunch the church as authentic community church. And one of my reasonings was also because I want my girls to grow up Christian. Yeah. Can I ask yeah. you now then, you know, I'm a new believer. How does that happen? How do you, how do I, why do I hear sometimes, oh, my dad's nicer on Sunday than mm. than other places? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because, you know, as a new believer, you start to question, okay, so is what does this look like? Who does this look like? Do mm. I need to look like the pastor? Do mm-hmm. I not need to look like the pastor? And so as a new believer, like, what do you say? Or what, what are your thoughts, like, uh, for that? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, my dad's nicer. I think that to me is like blows my mind mm. that you hear that. Like my mm. dad's nicer to me to people on Sunday or to me or whatever right. on Sunday than other days. Mm. And as a new believer, you're like, maybe I'm thinking like, maybe I only got to be good on Sundays then. Right, right. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, right. so what does that look like, or what do you think about that? Yeah. Uh, or how does that happen? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. you get inauthentic, I guess maybe. Right. I I think when things are left on their own. So there's a, a law in science. Don't tell me what it is. I have a degree in math, not science. But when things are left on their own, they tend to chaos, right? You leave your house alone, it doesn't all of a sudden get cleaner. Yeah. Right? Like you leave your car alone, it doesn't get cleaner. Yeah. Like it gets dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. Yeah. And so I think even in our lives, when we're not <clears throat> careful, the default is that we become inauthentic. Yeah. Because we're trying to survive, because we're trying to show face, because we're trying to this, we're trying to that. And so we become inauthentic. So to be authentic takes intentionality. Because uh-huh. we don't, we're, we're we're trying to survive as human beings, right? We're created, we're we're built to survive, and sometimes it feels like being vulnerable isn't going to help me survive, and so therefore I'll hide and I'll shame will keep it down, or I don't want to look a certain way, so I'll yeah. I'll be this way, and so I think being inauthentic is our default unless we are intentionally being authentic, mm. unless we're intentionally sharing and letting people in our lives and showing them underneath our jersey that this is a real jersey like yeah. like you mean it has the swish and you could check the serial numbers you know whatever it may be this is the real deal that doesn't just look good on the outside it's still real on the yeah. inside um too and so i always want to be someone that invites people into my real life and they can they can be able to see me and say that i'm the same on the outside that i am on the inside mm-hmm. so if you if if a new believer is sitting in front of you right mm-hmm. and they say sean i got uh, I got you know saved last week, mm-hmm. um, but I'm looking at you know you, or I'm looking at you know my senior pastor, yeah, hey, right, and I'm you know I'm never going to measure up to him. I'm never going to measure up mm. to you. You you guys are like you know pros, good professional, yeah. professional, <laughs> professional right? yeah, You guys yeah. are you know Come goody on. two shoes, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. You know uh, I'm you know, and then they find out that. You know, you, you you know maybe you do have flaws. You do mm-hmm. have sin in your life. They, their their senior pastor has flaws. He's messed mm-hmm. up, right? And then maybe that starts to to kind of turn them off a little bit mm-hmm. and think like, well, you know, why would I become a Christian if this guy is you know not a, if he's like just like me? Why would I, why would I become a Christian? Correct. What would you say to that to that new believer that's trying that's looking at you know that leader mm-hmm. that church leader and saying like he's he's messed up too like yeah. but instead of going one way saying like like oh this is great he's messed up too but they go the other way and say i don't want to follow someone like that yeah, yeah. i mean if, if you're looking for the perfect leader you're going to be on a massive <laughs> search that you're never going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so whether it's they're faking that they're perfect like it's going to come out right yeah. like the bible says your sin will find you out and mm. whether it's now whether it's years from now whether it's when your marriage falls apart you know whatever it may be like it's no matter how much charisma and how much skill and talent you have yeah it's always gonna it's, it's always gonna it's always gonna show and so what i love is looking at real people so my favorite athlete of all time kobe bryant rest in peace shout out to the girl. right come on <laughs> and uh just thinking of of him and every every time they miss shots like he'll go he'll miss like right say misses like 10 or 15 shots i've heard quotes where he's like well that just means that the next one has to fall mm. you know what i mean like i'm like pretty much like i'm just gonna keep on shooting like i'm not gonna let my failures dictate what i'm gonna do in the future yeah. and the reason why this is so mind-blowing he said this quote one time and he, the coach was asking him like why are you such a jerk like why are you a jerk to your teammates like why don't you pass the ball and he said 
He said, I, will, I, I, I put in hours and hours of work and this guy just shows up to practice on time and he leaves right when it's over and he doesn't, he doesn't do anything extra. Like, why would I ever trust him in the game? Like, why would I ever trust mm. to pass him the ball? Mm -hmm. And I just think in, in, our, in our lives, we want the the fruit of people, right? Like we want like, oh, like I love how their marriage is like this, right? People um, tell us like, oh, I want a marriage like yours and Amanda. Yeah, I know you want a marriage like us, but it doesn't just happen because, yeah. no, like there's work and there's a hard conversation and there's tears and there's sometimes where she's upset with me and there's sometimes where I'm upset with her yeah. and we put in the work to get where we're at. It doesn't happen, doesn't happen on accident. And yeah. so I think when we realize that Man, like, let me show you the formula to be successful. And we have this idea in our mind that it's this linear progression. I was bad, and I've gone up, and now I'm good, and I don't have bad days. Mm -hmm. Christianity, we say it this way, from faith to faith, or from glory to glory, as yeah. if it's a ramp. Yep. But I think it's these, I think it's it's more of there's gaps in between from glory to glory. I think there's a dip down where it's like, but I went through something hard and difficult, and because of that, I was able to shoot up, right? <laughs> David writes, yeah. yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I don't stay there. I'm not building my house here. I, I have a tent because I'm passing through. Yeah. But in those valleys of the shadow of death is where he said, but now I've learned who you are. I learned mm -hmm. that you never leave me, right? I knew that, I learned that your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I didn't learn that on the mountaintop. I learned that in the valley low. Yeah. And so I think when we can realize that authenticity, when we can share the ups and the downs, yeah. we'll realize that many more people are invited into this journey mm -hmm. than think like, ah, oh, this guy's a failure. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just don't have time for people who are looking for perfect people. Yeah, he, he, he was already here two thousand years ago. Mm. Now, now I think we're just looking for real people. Yeah, perfection has been taken care of. Now we're just looking for real. Yeah. yeah. So you know, you're talking about Josh. talking about leaders that are being, you know, authentic. You talked about mm. yourself and Amanda, Pastor Amanda, like living this authentic life. Mm -hmm. What are the traits involved in being authentic? You know what I mean? Because. You know, you can be authentic and have your flaws, mm -hmm. but what are some of the things that, like, you would say, like, oh yeah, like, this is what makes me an authentic person? Yeah, so such a good question, and there's this idea because we're talking about a leadership team, and they're like, hey, we're gonna have to define this because people are gonna say things like, well, I'm just gonna tell it like it is. I'm just yeah, being real. I'm just exactly. being real. Yeah, yeah. Right? like, no, you're not being real. You're being a jerk. Yeah, right? yeah. can we distinguish that, the two? Right? That, that's the. I feel yeah. like you know, yes, the new generation is right, like right. that. Like they're they're being mean, and then they're just saying, I'm just being real. Well, I'm just being real. Yeah. Or when yeah. It, anyone, anytime yeah. anyone says, well, not to be offensive, you're gonna say something <laughs> offensive, yeah. right? Like. No, yeah. you are going to be offensive, yeah. and you're just going to uh, say that before. But yeah. um, when when I think when people say like I'm just being real and I'm just being this, I think some what we have to do as Christians is first discover who we really are. Mm -hmm. And it's more than just well I'm a child of God, <clears throat> you know. Like yeah. yeah, you can't just repeat something. You have to believe it on the inside. And mm -hmm. what I've realized is that I am not free yet. Sean, how do you know you're not free? Well, because I'm still on this planet, mm -hmm. right? And there's still, I still have flesh and there's still people still make me upset. Somebody parked in my spot today and they came out and they were like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I was like, I don't care about your sorries. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't, I don't care. And I'm like, uh, this yeah. is what I think. Yeah. Could I treat them like that and then invite them to my church? Yeah, 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 right? Like, yeah. yeah. Like, does that, is, don't park in my spot. Right, right, don't park in my spot and you can come to my church. <laughs> but uh, no, there's, there's this, there's this, just this idea of like, I need to be, I need to be real, right? Like I need to be, so like, what does that look yeah. like? One of my favorite people in the Bible, yeah. Paul, he says this in two different places in, in, the, in the New Testament. He says, man, I am the chief sinner. And then another yeah. part of scripture, he says this, follow me as I follow Christ. Mm -hmm. And I think we've always thought that they were separate, but it's the same man that says it. In other words, mm, so I am the chief sinner. Like I know where I'm at on this totem pole mm -hmm. of Christianity. And I don't think I'm up on top. I'm being humble and I'm realizing that, man, I've sinned so much. But I also know that I am doing my best to follow Jesus. And so if you follow me, you will be following Christ. Yeah. Like just, I'm just convinced that this is who I, and I, that's the model that I think is what does authentic look like? I can be real about where I've come from and where I'm at. Yeah. But at the same time, I have confidence to know that I am doing what God has called me to do. Mm -hmm. And I have not boastful, but I have this, 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 this underlying yeah. confidence that says, you can follow me. And if you follow my life, man, you're going you're, to you're gonna meet God. Mm -hmm. But it's being mm -hmm. able to have both. Because if you just have, oh, you follow me, like all of a sudden pride comes in. You can follow me as I follow. Like I'm it. Like I'm the man. Like I'm, I'm the greatest. Like that's when pride comes in and then there's the fall. Yeah. But there's, we get stuck on the other ditch where it's like, woe is me. I'm the worst. I'm no good for nothing. And all of a sudden then you're not achieving all that you're supposed to. And so there's this balance of I'm a chief sinner, but man, you can follow me as I follow Christ. Yeah. And it's, it's really takes, it takes, it takes real to get there. And do I think 
you should be the same today as you were five years ago or ten years ago. No, like I hope that if you get saved today yeah. and you're still turning down your rap music as you pass by a church, like Sean, would you recommend that every Christian listen to cussing rap music that talks about you know twerking and stuff like that? Like, no, we should be filling ourselves with good things and the yeah. word. That's so good. But what I expect. A, a one week old Christian to do that? No, the same way I don't expect I expect my five month old daughter to start walking tomorrow. Yeah. No, no, no. Like I'm working on her trying to roll over. Baby milk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, my six year old, if she rolls over, she's like, "Look at me, Dad!" Like I'm not impressed, right? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like you're you're way older, but there's this idea of man, like I'm setting the expectations. You're a one week old Christian, like here like this is where you should be but on the inside if you want to have the fruit if you want to be able to show like hey i want to have the growth and i want to have like these things that god's talking about there is sacrifice that has to make jesus says things like take up your cross daily yeah and so when we talk about being authentic going back to what is it like to be authentic you have to realize what am i being authentic to am i being authentic to, okay. towards my feelings some of us uh, we think we're being authentic to ourselves but we're really being authentic to is the hurts and the pains right yep. your, 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 yep. your dad left you and so now you hate all men well I'm just being real I just don't like no you're not being real you're, you're hurt yep. yeah. and so let's address the hurt because once we can address the hurt you can find out who you really are that's so yeah. good but dealing with the hurt is hard and it's mm-hmm. it's nasty and it's tough. feels like it's tough right yeah. like I don't, I don't want to do that but that's the only way you can be authentic and so for me like I'm dealing with my insecurities and I put them on display not because I want to boast about them but because yeah. I want other people to know like I haven't arrived I know I haven't arrived and you haven't arrived and that's okay none of us are arriving yet we're on this path to figure out who we are and to take away those 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 insecurities and things like that yeah no that's that I mean that that's I think uh you know it's not easy to do but I think there's something something uh like you said just freeing about being real being authentic right truly real truly authentic yeah Uh, um so you know as we close we're just uh we want to um Mm. uh ask you just one more thing um you know so what do you what would you say what are some things that a, a new believer uh can do um you know basically they got saved and mm. w- what's the next steps what, what are the things that they can do because i you know i've heard uh you know a lot of new believers they get saved and then like you said earlier they think it's you know just a list of do these things mm. and don't do these things right, right. there's a bunch of rules you have to mm. follow uh you know so because new believers you know obviously they, they think you know okay like a lot of them they think you know like okay i found jesus now i have to do all these things to get to heaven i have to right. do all these there's a bunch of things that i can't do anymore right yeah like yeah. listen to rap music yeah. um so or watch what, a movie so so yeah. what what would you say are some things that a new believer you know should do how would you address that rule following mindset that they mm-hmm. have and uh, maybe some passages that they can read to understand what you know true authenticity in the Christian faith looks like. True, true, you know what Jesus, how Jesus walked in authenticity. Yeah, like what does that, mm-hmm. what does that look like? Mm-hmm. I mean, for that person, yeah, I believe I think one of the first things to do is to find a group of people you can do life with, right? We named the church authentic community because community is so essential, right? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. it's hard to be real by yourself. Right, like it's hard to be authentic by your by yourself. Like no one's gonna see if you're really authentic or not. Yeah, it's not until you encounter other people that you can test out if I'm really authentic or not. And so good. In order for you as a new believer to grow, you you just need people around you. And people are terrible, and people are amazing all at the same time. Yeah. And so being able to find a group where it's like I can, I like uh, verbiage I use is like so that way. I gotta find people where I can be a door with that that can be a doormat to me. Mm. So in our in our marriage, for instance, my wife and I, like I I want to say our, our marriage is, is a doormat in some ways. Where man, you can rub off some of the junk in life on me, mm. and I am a safe place where you can rub this junk off. That's but so uh, but likewise, I can rub off some of the junk on you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like not like I take all my frustration. You know, not those things. But man, like it's a place where I can be cleaned up here. And That's so when you find a group of friends that you can be that that can be a doormat for you and let you be safe and let you get clean and you likewise can also be a doormat for other people um you know there's this thing like people say like oh like don't let don't don't people walk all over you and it's like i know but it seems it seems like jesus did that on quite a few Mm, occasions yeah you know what i mean where where that's just he was just allowing people to clean themselves off on him and he's like it's okay it's okay like because i am holy right like we got this idea that well i could just clean something by putting it around other clean things no like if you have something that's dirty and you throw in clean clothes with it the clean clothes don't make the dirty thing clean 
the dirty thing is going to make the clean things dirty. Yeah. But and so in our in our mind we think, well, let me just put this bad thing. I'll put some good things, and everything will be clean. No, no, no. Like you need holiness. You need yeah. holiness is that bleach. You know what I mean? That takes that takes everything out. Mm-hmm. And so you got to find a group of people who are following Jesus as well. I think once you get plugged in there, and obviously things like reading scripture, uh, reading yeah. the word, like praying, like w- having times in worship, and really what you're doing is not checking off lists. You're really just spending time with Jesus. Yeah. If that's your mindset, my goal isn't to read chapter seven of Genesis. Mm-hmm. God. My goal is to read you mm. and to just meet with you and to discover you. And so when you open up your Bible, I mean, you can look at a Bible reading plan, but your prayer before should be that, God, I want to meet you. If Jesus was really the word made flesh, then Jesus, I expect that I can meet you in these scriptures and in these words. Mm-hmm. And I think when you're able to do to do that, like that's where you meet Jesus. And Jesus, when you have encountered him, like you have... You just realize that you have to be real. Yeah. Like I have to be. One of my favorite so scriptures, good. First John 1, 9, that if you that if I confess my sins, he is faithful and just to forgive me of all my sins and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Well, how does it start? Confessing. What does that mean? I'm real. Mm-hmm. I'm real with God. God, I don't have it all figured out. God, I'm not perfect. God, I'm this. God, I'm that. I'm confessing what it is. But I know that you're a safe place and you'll forgive me of my sins and you'll cleanse me from all unrighteousness. That's so good, man. And I think even just real quick, I know that we said the last question, but I really wanted to add this is... You said a little bit earlier about, you know, you're you're a new believer or you're an Mm -hmm. authentic believer now, but sometimes you hide it or you don't realize it because you have these hurts, right? You're Mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm just being real. Mm -hmm. But it's really like you have this baggage, you have these hurts. Um, And I know at our church, you believe in uh, freedom. Mm -hmm. And I know that you create, you and uh, Pastor Mark created these, uh, you know, have this idea of next steps. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain a little bit like what a next steps means like in an authentic way? Like yeah. as a believer, what does that look like? It looks like finding out your identity, right? Like who you really are. And when you when you find out who you are, man, you will be so free. Like when I embrace the fact that I'm good at math and I'm a nerd, like so free. Right? When I embrace the fact that I talk fast and I stuttered really bad when I was younger and I just that's just who I am, I realize that those things make up who I am. Mm. The fear would be, well, like people made fun, like junior hires made fun of me right when I was in junior high. You know how nice junior hires are. They make fun of me and that would have said, Well, I, I don't I don't speak in public. That's not who I am. No, maybe it is. I just got hurt so much that I'm not gonna face that and I'm yeah. not gonna deal with that. Instead saying, man, isn't God so good that he used those moments? I used to stutter so bad that I couldn't get words out. So my brain would have to think of other words while I'm talking of this word that I know I'm going to stutter on because I can feel that I'm going to stutter on it. I would have to think of another word beforehand Mm. to be able to avoid the stutter that was coming because I don't want to be made fun of. And that ability allowed me to think when I speak now and allowed me to be a better communicator because of what I thought was was something that was bad about me. And God's able to take those things, give you your identity, tell you who you are, and then after all of that, you can say, man, this is who I am. This is what God says that I am. This is how he's gifted me. And now I can put them together. And so being free is saying, what things was I hurt by? And let me discover those, or and then take those out and deal with those, and parents leaving, or dads leaving, or getting heartbroken, or getting abused, right? Like any of those things, let me deal with those things. And as I deal with those, I'll be able to discover who I am. And live authentically. And just live authentically, right? Like That's so good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a constant. It sucks. It's simple, but not easy. Yeah. yeah. My favorite saying, simple, we, but we not easy. We quote that all the time. Simple, not easy. Simple, not we got easy. that from him, actually. Yeah. 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 <laughs> simple, not easy. Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. Simple, not easy. But hey, Pastor Sean, we're so excited for where the church is going. Mm. And yeah. I think, like, the culture um, and the vision that the Lord has placed upon mm-hmm. you is evident and I think there's a mm-hmm. new obviously a new season but a new way a new perspective a new lens um, and I love how, what you're doing you know with the yeah. next steps teaching us how to be authentic teaching mm-hmm. us um, and leading us to be like mm-hmm. that yep. um, so we appreciate this time we appreciate Definitely. this conversation Thanks, let's pray before we uh, close it up let's do it Father God we thank you for tonight we thank you for Pastor Sean and his heart Lord just to be authentic with you and his relationship with you lord lord i pray that you bless him and pastor amanda as they continue to lead and guide this church lord lord i pray lord that uh, you bless the listeners um whatever they may be dealing with lord may you meet them there lord and uh, let them know that you are holy lord Mm. we love you lord and we praise you lord and we we thank you again for this safe uh atmosphere we could have authentic conversations Mm -hmm. we pray this in your name in jesus name Amen. Amen. amen thank you guys that's the name of it